We as Christians are all called to be good and to do good deeds. But I should always ask myself, who am I serving by my good deeds? Is it myself or is it the Lord? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria, and welcome to today's Gospel Commentary. The Gospel reading for today is taken from the Sermon on the Mountain and appears to create a kind of a tension between what Jesus is saying today in the, today's Gospel and what he said earlier. Yes, because at the beginning of the Sermon on the Mountain, you will all, all remember, the Lord said, um, Your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. So, here the Lord is telling us, in the beginning of the Sermon on the Mountain, to live so that others see our life, to live so that others hear our word and observe our good works, so that God may be glorified. Because in today's Gospel, the Lord appears to say the contrary. <laughs> yes, the contrary. So the Gospel today is from St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, and verses 16 to 18. And here the Lord calls His disciples and says to them, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. So, brothers and sisters, at first glance, there appears to be a contradiction, yes, between both of these sayings of Jesus. Yet, yet, both of these sayings are true. On the one hand, we do have to manifest our faith. Yes, we do have to manifest our faith so that others can see it. We cannot hide the light of our faith by keeping it under a bushel. We have to publicly proclaim our faith in Jesus. Well, otherwise our faith is dead. But on the other hand, we cannot publicly proclaim our faith with the intention of attracting attention on ourselves. We cannot manifest our faith with the intention of bringing praise and glory on ourselves. Our publicly living and proclaiming our faith in the Lord Jesus must be done in order to attract attention and glory and praise on, yes, on the person of Jesus. This is what we pray for in the Lord's Prayer when we all pray, hallowed be thy name. We are praying so that God may be glorified through our lives and through our good deeds. So, brothers and sisters, today's Gospel is reminding us that there is always a danger that we do the right thing for the wrong reason. To do a good work or an act of charity out of love for ourselves and not out of love for God. We have to learn to always do the right thing out of love for God. In other words, with a pure intention and a generous heart. So we have to examine our true intentions in whatever we are doing. That is why it's good to always ask ourselves if I'm doing good and manifesting my faith in order to be praised? Or am I really trying to serve the Lord in order for Him to receive all praise? So today's Gospel is inviting me to pray and to ask myself, who is being honored and praised by my good works? Is it myself or is it God? Now, brothers and sisters, in tomorrow's Gospel commentary, we are going to learn how some forms of prayer um, can actually be disagreeable to God. So let's ask Our Lady to always help us put into practice what we pray in the Our Father when we say, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. Salve Maria and see you for tomorrow's Gospel Commentary.